We're live on TikTok. We're live on Twitch. We're here. We have some juicy topics to talk about. We have a ton of DMs to go through. If you have a question that you would like us to go over and debate boys against girls, make sure you put it in the chat. Um, we've been uh, getting a lot of love from you guys and a lot of hate, I'll tell you. I got one of the funniest comments in a video that I posted the other day that is currently almost at 1 million views. And the, somebody had basically said, who, who does this Thortha think she is? Now, if you're not Mexican, what a Thortha is, it's a girthy Mexican sandwich. And that was probably the funniest shit I'd ever seen in my life. So thank you for that. I appreciate it. And you're right. You are absolutely right. Mike was off before. Okay, good, good, good. I'm glad you guys hear it. My favorite. Yeah, I love a good torta. But um, without further ado, I'm going to bring in the one and only. Hold on. Let me just post this really fast, and then I'm going to be off my phone. Post. Get people in here. All right. We're good. I am going to bring in the man, the myth, the legend. What's up? What up? <laughs> <laughs> I put I put on my title for TikTok. Men are always right, and, my, and they're no, already coming in. <laughs> Dampest crib says always right, baby. No, <laughs> always no. right. Fucking terrible, dude. That's good. That's good. We got to band together, man. Shit, back to back, uh, head on a swivel. Band together. Are you listen to this guy. <laughs> yeah, we we need to get more ladies in here. Make sure you share this live. Share it with the girlies. Let's get them in here. We're having a conversation. You have a question? Like, put it in chat. The mods are gonna go ahead and share it, and we're gonna we're gonna discuss it. But you and I did get some DMs. Um, mm -hmm. so when we were live last week, the video that I posted didn't quite paint you in the best light. Mm -hmm. I would say right. you got some pretty nasty messages. I would say. Uh -huh. Um, so the video that I posted this week, I got reverse. a ton of nasty. Oh my reverse. god! Oh you, my uh, god! You got so much hate, and no, all the so, men came out. Yeah, so much hate. I don't think um, I've ever experienced that. Mm. I was expecting it because mm. I knew it was a polarizing topic, and I knew that I knew that it was gonna get the trolls to come out of their uh, from under a rock, all mm. slimy and and typing and texting away. I just knew it was gonna happen, and you guys did not disappoint so thank you for that yeah it was um, good and i should have i should have saved some of them but i didn't and i don't know i think i think the next few posts that we do i'll start saving like the comments and oh i some saved of the them up and, oh i'm sure well i guess we'll talk about those but yeah you definitely <laughs> it kind of and it did i'm not saying like uh the the, the perspective switched because nobody's winning or losing here but definitely no. It, it was definitely the polar opposite this time. I mean, I got loads of hate on the other ones just from saying a sentence that I didn't think was very bad. Probably got misinterpreted. And, it did. You know, I just, I don't know. You put blood in the water, all the sharks come out. Like, all the guys came flooding into those comments. And they, they're all pretty much saying the same stuff. But some people were saying some pretty foul shit, so... But. Yeah, no, you, you got a lot of the 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 he speaks facts. Yeah. I I, e I even heard uh this is the new top G. I did hear that one a oh, couple really? of times. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You got all those tater tots coming out here. Um, I and then of course, like oh my god, there there was a couple that were saying that I was uh, delusional mm -hmm. and that I had no idea what I was talking about. And all that tells me, all that tells me is that I edited that video exactly the way that I wanted it to come across. So thank you for affirming that for me. I really appreciate it. Mm -hmm. No, it's good stuff, man. But any anything yeah. that gets people thinking one way or the other, whether it's whether they respect one side or not, I think uh, I think it's always good stuff. I think some of this and, and, and I got a lot of comments like that. There's a lot of people, men and women, that would say, you know what? I really did, never thought about it like that. So I'm, I'm actually going to think about it a little bit differently. I've got DMs asking like personal questions, serious questions, looking for some guidance and i'm not saying i'm one that's that knows anything i'm not a professional in anything that i do but you know i'm speaking yeah. from life experiences i've lived a while so far and i've done quite a few things and probably same thing for you so we're just saying sharing our point of views and there's going to be a lot of people that agree and a lot that disagree that's the way no. it goes 
a lot that disagree and, and we're we're two people you know um H house is you know happily married now and he is um but he was in the dating scene very heavy he's talked about that with me before mm -hmm. and then um i'm not in the dating scene anymore but i was in the dating scene fairly heavy in the past couple of years so we just like to bounce these experiences off of each other and and the one in question that definitely made us um um, oh yes, I will make malicious a mod. I'm so sorry. I totally forgot to do that. Let me do that really fast. Um, manage, add as a moderator. Okay, you should be good to go now, malicious. Thank you so much for reminding me. So, um, the the topic of that video. <laughs> um, <laughs> why are you laughing? We're not supposed to be in chat. <laughs> well, we're not supposed to be assigning moderators in the middle of the stream you either. Can only Fuck, do man. Them. You can only do them when you're live. No, I'm sorry. It's not true. Um, <laughs> not we got a hope for show. <laughs> um, why is it showing Skelly not as a mod? Um, okay, we'll have to. I'll have to take care of that in a minute. I'll take care of that in a minute. But anyways, so um, the topic at hand was that women you said have a bigger checklist than uh, than men do is what you said. And my question that I had asked was, do men base how they pick a woman on their physical attractions more than women do so you're saying just I, to clarify i answered the question you did but just yeah. to clarify you were saying that men um that women do that because they expect men to be like tall or dark handsome like that's yeah. what you kind of meant right yeah i mean just just I, saying that one physical trait about the height i mean that shut it down right there because that's majority of the women that was in that chat so uh, yeah no and i would agree with you you know i um i never shared this story with you and i and this is one of the reasons why i was laughing during this conversation so i had dated somebody and and when i i use the word dated loosely we were getting to know each other we knew each other from high school he was a hot shot pitcher in high school like and we got acquainted as adults and um, he sh he's short. What, is, what he's... does that mean? So y'all fucked later? No, we never, we <laughs> never ever, we never even kissed. We never even kissed, okay? So, ever. What's acquainted later? That's that means you so fucked we, later, he, right? He slid into my messages and he was like, "I hey, like I'm single too. I would like like to get to know you." Is basically what it was. So um, I totally forgot. I totally forgot that he was short because I hadn't seen him since high school, okay? Uh -huh. And so we meet up for a date and he's short. I'm 5'7", yeah. he's 5'5". Five five. I didn't even notice it, honestly. I didn't even notice that he was 5'5". Five five. Uh, but he had shared to me that he was insecure about being 5'5". Five five. Okay. That was not the only thing. He was missing half of his teeth, okay? Okay. The reason why he was missing half of his teeth um, is because he was like a recovering addict. He had gone through that, missing his teeth. This is somebody that I normally, like younger Trish, would have never swiped on. But he was very sweet. Uh -huh. And he would send me flowers. Okay. He would pursue me, want to take me on dates, all of this stuff, okay? Um, and, I, and I did like him. I was interested. <laughs> Until... We See? were having a conversation. Hold on, hold on. We I, were having. I can sh a I can shut this down right now if you want me to. Hold on. You know Let why? Let me say it. Okay. Let me say it. All right, go ahead. So, so, um, how can I find you on Twitch? Oh, sorry, I was in chat. Oh my um, gosh, here we go. <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. I'll let malicious handle that. Um, so. We were on the phone talking, and I was talk. We were like making plans to do something, and I was, and I brought up the height thing and i said yeah i don't think i've ever dated anybody that was um shorter than me and he goes i freaking knew it was gonna be a problem except he didn't say freaking he uh -huh. said the other word and he's screaming in the phone i knew you wouldn't like me because i was shorter than you and like screaming and i was like um i didn't say i had a problem with it i just said i had never dated anybody mm. like shorter than me before and that was a red flag for me like how okay. angry he got after okay. that okay so then another time we were made a date and we were gonna go play air hockey and i said hey um i only got like two hours because i have to work tonight and he was like okay i'll i'll drive out to you we'll go play air hockey and then we'll go grab something to eat also he didn't have a car he rented a car every time he came to see me so i'm just letting you know that uh -huh. so he drove out to see me Status. hold on Drove out, drove out to see me. 
We you're, played you're, air hockey. You're just making me more right. That, I mean, no, it's not even. I'm letting you know that I was pursuing somebody different than I normally would have when I was younger. I was pursuing somebody without having these. Were these, you? Like, were you though? Yes. No. Oh yes. I don't I think so. I liked him. I liked him. A hundred percent. You just I liked told him. me you didn't have sex with him. Never kissed him. And yet you're telling me that you're interested in him. You had multiple dates with the guy. You never kissed him. You never had sex with him. You weren't pursuing this kid. I was no. affirming him in other ways. I'm sorry, okay? You have to earn that shit, okay? I wasn't you, just going to bust out, okay? You know him. It's, there's no such thing in that in your case. You already knew him. He was a reacquaintance. All right, all right, all right, you, all right, all right. So again, like, you, 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 you might have enjoyed <laughs> hanging out with him, right, and all that stuff, but you weren't pursuing him. You weren't. I, I was, I did like him and I was trying to be, I was rushing into something too fast. I had just gotten out of a marriage and I didn't know if this was something that I wa wanted, like a relationship. Mm -hmm. So I was dating him. I was getting to know him. Okay. And that was the other factor is, so after we went on this date, we went to go play air hockey. We went to go get in and out burger. We're eating in and out burger. And I was like, okay, I have to go, you know, I have to go to work. And he was like, well, I wouldn't have driven all the way out here to only hang out with you for two hours. And I'm like, bro, I told you I only had two hours. Mm -hmm. Like, I have to work. Mm -hmm. And so that was strike number two. Mm -hmm. And then the third one was I just wasn't ready. I just wasn't ready to start dating somebody. So I so I ended it. I said, I wish you the best. I, I hope, like, you find what you're looking for. And then he became a stalker. Um, but anyways, so what I'm the point that I'm trying to make is I was trying, trying to not have these checklist things and to pursue somebody that I normally wouldn't have pursued. And he was a great guy. It was just bad timing. And unfortunately, he had things he had to work through. All those things you're saying was just convenient. You you weren't interested <laughs> in this kid. It's convenient that you're not ready all of a sudden, but you're dating and you were trying to see if you're ready, but you, you dated this was... You didn't kiss him, didn't have sex with him, so y'all didn't fool around. But like- No. But if you were attracted to him, you would have. You would have at least kissed. You knew who he was, so at least the first day, second day, y'all probably would have kissed, but you weren't attracted to him, so you didn't. So you were trying to get past the fact that he didn't meet your checklist, and it just didn't work. So that doesn't apply to your side of the story. It only applies to mine right now, so thank you. So doesn't it doesn't it make me at least... At, so we have to be self-aware when we're making these choices, right? Self-aware that we're not making, like the right choices in life. And so I knew that I had a pattern of choosing the wrong type of person because I had these things in my mind mm -hmm. that I w was attracted to, that I wanted. And my attraction wouldn't be like, I I love nerdy people. Like that's I like glasses and Star Wars and all that stuff. So if you put that on a hot meter, a lot of people would say that that's not a hot meter, but for me it is, I find it very attractive. Um, but anyways, I was trying to get out of this mindset of, of going with a certain type of guy and stepping out of my comfort zone and I had a great time but I didn't lead him on and I didn't ghost him I let him know I'm just not interested I think that's better than what a lot of guys do today where they lead you on make you think that they're into you and then they ghost you and you never hear from them again I think if you met your checklist you'd be you would have dated him <laughs> maybe that's that's all. So again, but I mean, I tried, I tried stepping out of my comfort zone and it, it didn't work out. See, like, you know, you were taught, you were describing him and you said the teeth thing, like you're already saying like these physical, like, so the first thing you started talking about were these physical deficiencies that he had, because right? Because you had brought it okay. up. You had brought okay. it up. And then the story ends up going where I thought it was going to go anyways, which was you didn't date him. I did not. You, you, no. you, cho you didn't choose him. And those are the reasons why you, you you take one of these guys in here. There's about there's a ton of guys in this chat right now that would love to have a woman with no teeth. Love it. I'm sure. I'm sure. <laughs> but I'm saying I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm sure. <laughs> you, you, okay. you, you immediately went to man. He had no fucking teeth. So I was just like. Damn, but he struck whole, out before the, you even got no, up to bat. Listen, the whole point of why I even brought up that is because <laughs> you were saying that women viewed things that way. That's the yeah. only reason why and I brought you it up. Proved, no, no, you proved it. You no, immediately started talking reason, about that. Only reason, only but, reason why I brought it up was for okay, that. Okay, but you brought it up to prove the point that that's why you didn't end up with him. 
No, 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 no. Yeah. I brought it up to prove that. Hold on. Hold on. I brought it up to prove that women no. can become self-aware that they're no. making the wrong choices. You know what women oh, do? We, you know we what can't? women do? We yeah. can't? What, what, we can't? This is what women do and what you just did. You make things convenient when you benefit from it. Period. You make you, you you're the narrator, the director, and the producer of your own story. So here's Correct. the thing. If the if that character. guy, if that guy would have been six foot, good looking, had all his teeth, you would have tolerated all that and you would have dated him. Period. Okay. Maybe. Well, Hindsight. there you go. That's what I'm saying. So because he didn't meet your checklist, he didn't win. But that wasn't the deciding factor. The deciding I, I factor is he had major, he had major anger it. issues. Yeah major women you know it's funny people say, you know how many people say i have anger issues i all, mean all the, all the time just because I, I i got it in the chat like you know how many women came into that TikTok says why is he yelling he's got anger issues he's got a temper like this is how i talk i'm very passionate when i talk what if this makes you feel like i'm being scary is that a problem with them or is that a problem with me so, like, I don't know if he had anger issues. I just hear what you're saying, and I just hear people say that about me all the time, too. I'm, I'm a coach. This is how I project. I mean, it's not, not angry so at when all. So, you're, when you're talking with a woman and you're getting to know her, are you talking to her like you're talking right now? Like this? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Bullshit. I've been on are the phone with you. Are you kidding me? I've been on the phone with you, and you're like, hey, Trish, what's up? How's it going? Right, but like, if, you're if I'm— You're super mellow. If I'm chilling, yeah, okay, yeah, no no doubt. I'm, this is all my personality, but, like, this is part of who I am. So, like, uh, you know, I'll give you an example. Rich came into the Discord one time where me and Ball was playing games casually, and we weren't even on stream, and there was nobody around us, and Rich came in randomly, and we were going at it, being super competitive. He's like, damn— you guys are actually like this in real person. So, yeah, I am chill. I am mellow. But, like, when you get to talking about something passionate, I mean, I've got emotions just like anybody else. This is, I'll talk like this. Yeah. I yeah. mean, this doesn't mean I'm mad or angry. Like, I just, I don't even know what to say to the people in the comments, the, the ladies in the comments. I'm not trying to be disrespectful, but I'm like, man. I, I, That's, uh, so, I do have a question in the chat, and it says, but would you overlook the anger issues if he looked like a model? Oh, absolutely, absolutely not. No, I would Absolutely. not. Absolutely. Nope, 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 nope. <laughs> Absolutely. Listen, they listen. do it all the time. No. They do it I, all the time. Even, even when we're playing, even when we're playing Warzone, even when we're playing in there, it is a known thing that I tell people, if you're going to aggressively yell at me, I cannot play with you because I, it, it triggers me. Like, I don't like it when people are screaming, like, angrily. But you don't I, scream angrily. You scream. You tell I people yell. to go fuck themselves with a smile <laughs> on your face. They're but like I yell screaming. though. But see, so I, I would have to hear how he how his tone was, right? Because people. I'm I mean, telling I, you, his tone was absolutely I believe, terrible. I believe, but I am I am also saying this. He would have he he would have made it past three strikes if he if he made your checklist. That's for sure. Um, but I've also dated extremely attractive men who didn't pass my checklist because of of their personality. Like I right, right. I, so but it, that, it, it goes the same way. Like, yes. Okay. Absolutely. Listen. Okay. You know what? No. Checklist. You I, just I, said no, it. Did y'all no. just hear her? She just said I've yes. dated attractive men that didn't make my checklist and they didn't make it. Exactly. Checklist it, for personality. It, for but, personality. But the whole point is checklist, right? So, like, it doesn't matter good looking or not good looking. You guys are like, okay, he's got that one. Okay, okay. Oh, f mm, I'm going to have to circle. We're going to have to circle back to that one. That one that one scares me a little bit. And as long, yeah. if he doesn't have more than 50% of this right here, his chances of making in that relationship with you and all the other women in this chat are very minimal. So I'll tell you this. One of the comments that we got in that TikTok that I posted, it, it was repeated constantly, constantly, constantly. Mm -hmm. Men saying that as long as a woman a woman treated him well, uh -huh. that they that they that that's enough for them. It doesn't matter what they look like. Mm -hmm. That's one of the most common mm -hmm. things that I had heard in the chat. I also heard this. My wife's a two, but she makes me feel better about myself. Mm -hmm. I also heard. 
it, that's why divorce rates are so high because men marry someone that make themselves feel good and then re when she no longer is doing that they go on to the next one so maybe men should focus more on personalities and other qualities that make them happy like happy versus oh she makes me feel good in the moment no because i kind of agree with what that guy's saying so like i used to say this too like I, t I actually tell all my friends this too so this is real stuff that i actually say to people that i know okay. like bro i'm like i so like he gets cheated on or the girl treats him like shit or whatever and i always tell him bro you need to date you need to get you a seven or a six quit quit aiming for the top tier prime rib a top dollar girls the one that look good because yeah that's all cool and stuff but we're not saying it in a bad way okay the better looking the better looking the woman or the man gets right the more options they have now the Agreed. more the more options you have the stronger you got to be up here because you're going to constantly be approached by people you're constantly going to have options to do something Agreed. make a mistake so my point is how many strong-minded women aka me, slash men are out there a lot of people in the chat is going to say fuck i ain't met a, i ain't met a strong-minded man yet or i ain't met a strong-minded woman yet so there's a lot of people are going to say not many so if you're going after the best looking person that you can see yourself with you're also putting yourself at risk okay I how agree. smart are they what is their character like what is their integrity like because the better looking they are the more options they have Agreed. that's the problem so i don't and think it's a bad people, thing are weak-minded they're weak-minded most and they people cannot, are yes and they cannot control their temptation yeah. so if if they are not whatever happy with their spouse or whatever yes. issues are happening That's, they're yeah. going to pull in that attention wherever yes. they get it because they make them feel good. exactly yes, so I now agree with you, you. You, you get a you get a very good looking guy he's in a relationship he's not getting what he wants out of it just like what you just said his his love language is not being met by the person that he's with he's unhappy right yeah but he, he's receiving this attention that he wants from his wife or his girlfriend. He's receiving it from this person that, that he has to put minimal effort into. That's, that, that's going to win think, every time. Yeah. No, I think that's why men cheat. Yeah. That is why men cheat. That's exactly why men cheat. It's not because all of them are horn dogs. Some are. Some have mm -hmm. a problem. But mo most men and women cheat because of something not being reciprocated in their relationship, i.e. being communicated to them or them communicating yeah. to the other person. Like, if I have a love language that's not being met and I'm not communicating to you that it's not getting accomplished or taken care of, then I have a problem right there. How are they supposed to fix it for me if they have no fucking idea? Mm -hmm. that's, that's my fault. And then I step out on them, fuck me. Like that's that's not right. So there's a lot of extenuating factors when it comes to relationship. But at the end of the day, it's always a two way street and not one person is to be blamed, even if cheating ensues that I, will, I will stand on that one for sure. No, I 100 percent agree with you on that. So like like. We, I've shared on that TikTok that the other TikTok that went off too, um, that like my ex husband had cheated on me. And no way ever mm -hmm. have I ever told you that it was a hundred percent. Right, you've fault. never had, you never said I've that. I've never, yeah, said, never that. said that. I take full accountability that I did not nurture. I, so in my mind, women, listen to this. I'm not, I'm not condoning cheating yeah, whatsoever. Yeah. Neither but am listen I. To this advice. Neither am I. I'm not condoning it. When you, when you, that stuff happens to you immediately you're like oh he cheated on me he's a dog mm -mm. i didn't do that i immediately went into self-reflection mode and said what did i do as a spouse that made my spouse feel like he could not get what he needed from me and why didn't he feel comfortable enough to come talk to me about it and I have actually apologized to my ex-husband for this. And I told him, I'm so sorry that I didn't give you a place to be able to express your emotions. I always asked him to tell me how he felt. Mm -hmm. I always begged him to tell me what he wanted, but I didn't create a safe space for mm -hmm. my husband, ex-husband to feel comfortable enough to tell me how he was mm -hmm. feeling because I created this, let's just call it a hostile environment to where he felt like if he told me I'm not getting pleased here or I'm having temptations that I would immediately pull the rug from underneath him. Mm. So I reflected on that and took full responsibility for my, my part and said, yeah, the marriage didn't end just because he cheated. The marriage ended because I wasn't nurturing 
my marriage also. So in no way would I ever pass the blame on him at all. Now, there are people that, that yeah. are shitty. But we're not there talking about. There are people about, that are shitty, yeah. but we're not talking yeah. about that. Or, or, like it, a- Anything that we say is not always and not never. Like there's no correct. such thing as never and always. So like we're talking in majority, probably most of the time, if not half the time. So, um, and from personal experience. But again, I mean, I agree with you. And again, it's not your fault that he cheated, right? It's not, no. It's, it's like a lot of things put together that like submitted to this situation and then the weaker person always fails that's that's what ends up happening the weaker minded agree. individual always fails now now to go back to what you said about the guy calling his girl a two i thought that was kind of harsh i would never yeah. go below a seven or a six but i understand what he's saying right i understand like now we're in the ballpark of a girl that does like doesn't have too many options. Now I don't have to worry about. They're kind of on the same level as I am. We're hit. We're we're swinging at the same pitches. We just need to work on communicating and stuff like that. So I understand that because I tell my friends that stuff all the time. I I think that's a good way to go because the better looking that people get, the harder it is to trust them. It is. Uh, yeah, no, I agree. We have a question in chat from Kev Dog. He said, since I'm in a wheel- wheelchair, I got hella trust issues. So I've actually dated, um, uh, I've actually dated somebody who had, um, God, MS. He had MS. Mm-hmm. And he told me right out the gate, I have MS and this is how it affects my body. And I did have that moment where I thought, is this something that I'm going to want to deal with? Mm-hmm. Because dealing with somebody with chronic illness is a big responsibility Mm -hmm. in no way is it just put on them to take care like you're doing this together right Mm -hmm. and so i really contemplated it like this is a big feat if this progresses and goes forward and i made the conscious choice of no i'm up for the challenge Mm because it is a challenge taking care of somebody with a chronic illness and Mm -hmm. i was completely okay with it so the advice that i would give you um kev is when you're dating just tell them right out the gate yeah let your personality shine through like yeah i'm in a wheelchair but i love i love hiking like just like throw out some kind of sense of humor and 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 you i mean you will find somebody that that doesn't matter it doesn't matter at all Mm -hmm. yeah and it it goes back to the thing we talked about last week that like you don't want to start to get to know somebody and then drop drop something like that on them because if they're not mentally capable or wanting to they're going to say no to you anyway so not only did you waste you most importantly you wasted your own fucking time like yeah forget about them you never want to waste your time in anything that you're doing okay so like you need to be like i said before upfront honest about any situation that maybe you feel insecure about that you just want to lay out there because if they're fucking yeah. leaving they're going to leave anyways okay it's it's not it, ne- it never happens like this hey uh this ain't gonna scare me now it might scare me later no it's gonna be scary the same way i believe so i would just go ahead and just like put it out there yeah because they're gonna leave anyway so you might as well just like not waste your time that that think of it like this don't think of it as being embarrassed by them think of it as hey you're protecting yourself you're protecting your time because your time is valuable and you want to invest your time into somebody that's worth investing it into not somebody that's going to run out on you because of those things like there okay simple as that I could not agree with you more on that. If if you truly like someone and you want to see a mm-hmm. future with them, it, you know, one of the biggest things, to, have you ever heard of what a situationship is? Have you ever heard of what that is? I could guess what that is. Um, I, I'll, I'll tell you what it is, but we do have a question in the chat. So Nori34 said, I dated an unattractive older man and could not be intimate with him. Mm-hmm. Why did you date him then, Nori? Yeah, why, I'm curious. Oh, oh, it's that... Oh, I yeah, can't wait I to know. hear this one. I want to hear what she has to say. I, I want to hear. Because you're in there for a reason, and it's yep. not attraction. I, I cannot wait to hear that. Um, and be honest with yourself and with us if you want an honest response out of us. Uh, another one, another question. How do you even approach the topic of needing, wanting something else sexually? Do you mean like adventurous? Is that what you mean by that? Yeah, like something else with your partner, or are you talking about out, outside of your relationship? Or what Nori do we... said because he was financially stable. Well, that's well, are you surprised? Are you surprised you can't be intimate with him? That's the path you chose. Are you why are you surprised about that? I don't know what to say about that. Um I I I've I've never even 
been in that kind of situation i have had older men like like message me as far like as far as like the sugar baby thing like let me let me do these things for you and i just i just can't i i because the whole like offering money for any that's just odd to me well like i mean that's well, that's what she yeah. that's what she's in a, she's in a relationship because of the finance which is okay i'm not judging you i'm just speaking from pure facts right this is what you choose to be in a relationship with him over so we can't be surprised that I'm not interested in any sexual activity or any intimacy. But here's the problem that you're gonna have. He's either gonna leave you or he's gonna cheat on you because if, if one of his languages of love is intimacy or physical touch or whatever, and you're not giving him that, it's not gonna work, it's, period. No. Um, so this is what a situationship is. A situationship is when you are in a relationship with mm -hmm. somebody, you're being intimate, you're spending the night at places you're going out to dinner but you're not boyfriend and girlfriend there's no title you're dating so you would think that you would think that is but when not you have together. that together no it's difference <laughs> okay you, you're dating so they call it a situationship now that's what they call it where you're in, and there's women that are in these situationships for years uh -huh. without any titles without okay. any any like any, nothing moving forward okay, okay? and that's what they is, want uh, no they think that they're going to change them no, to make them we've already want, had that conversation yeah it that, doesn't that work make that them way. want a relationship with them that one day they're going to be like yeah no. i actually do want to be with you no that's not how that's not how guys work stop doing that ladies Stop getting into relationships trying to change your man. We don't, we don't fucking play those games. What you see from us right from the jump, when we open that fucking door or you answer the door, when you hit that doorbell or when I, when I hit that doorbell and you answer the door, what you see is what you get. On that first date, how I act, how I talk, how I treat the waiter, how I treat the service person. If I tip, don't tip. Uh, how I respond to your comments, how I respond when you ask my questions. Am I on my phone during our conversation? Anything that I'm doing on that first date, it only gets worse. It doesn't get better. It does not get better. So Stop what if trying they to said, change us. What if they said they had a really bad breakup and they just need time? On what? They just need to get over it and so they feel comfortable enough to be in another relationship. They like you. No, they want to no be thing. with you. There's no fucking they such just thing. Need time. There's no they such thing time. as that. They're, this is you guys making up the realities in your own head. No man has said that. No, no man has ever said, hey man, I said, man, fuck, man, dude, you know what? Like, I just got out of this relationship. I've been in a marriage for 10 years, man. I don't know if I really want something right now. You know, I think I'm gonna maybe go date this person and just kind of just fill out my thoughts. No man has ever said that. <laughs> You guys make this shit up for us. We, we're not saying these things, okay? Like, we're on to the next thing, period. Now, if, you, if you're if you okay with the situation that you're in, you're probably going to stay there forever. But if the guy likes you enough, if the guy actually likes you, you're going to get exactly what you want from it. Like, whatever this situation, this situationship, like, he's not serious about her. And she's she's proven it to him by allowing herself to be in this. Yeah. He no, can do whatever I, I, the fuck he wants he to do. Do whatever he wants. Yeah. He yeah. That's does, validation. He, because because there's no title on it. So mm -hmm. they have no reason to not like if they went out and screwed somebody else and you said, but you screwed somebody else and go, but we're not together. We're not together. We're not boyfriend and girlfriend. Yeah, it's dating boyfriend and girlfriend. Uh recently, a couple days ago. Where it was, hey, I'm not talking to anybody else. I Did you bring that up? Um, because I wanted to make it clear what my intentions were. Okay, so if 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 he if he what if he would have flinched like you you said that and he's just kind of like flinched and didn't really have an answer. What if what if he, what if he was paused in the answer? Like what if he gave you that answer, but he was like you know sat there for a little bit, was unsure. I would probably ask like, is that what not was that not what you're looking for? Mm -hmm. And if they said, you know, I, I'm not really looking for that right now, then I would be like, okay, well, that's what I'm looking for. So are you guys officially together now that you've had that conversation? Yes. So you guys are boyfriend, girlfriend. Yes. Congratulations to Trish oh in the chat. She has been, she has been official as of a couple days ago.
bringing Jesus it up. Christ. But no, that's a good You're point. So I'm glad that I'm glad that you did that, right? Because she did two things right there, guys and girls. She did two things right there. She found out right now what his intentions are, right? Mm -hmm. And she found out how important she actually is to this guy. If she mm -hmm. wasn't very important, he would have, one, hesitated on the question, or two, would have went the other way, right? Uh, no, I'm just kind of like, I, I like what we are right now. You know, I, I like... That's not overcomplicated. Of course, he doesn't want it overcomplicated, right? He's got other yeah. he's got other fish to fry, right? And it's yeah. all a rat race. So, she she did a lot of things for herself. She solidified a relationship for herself, so she knows where she stands now, and she knows how to conduct her business moving forward with the opposite sex. <laughs> and you guys are in this contractual thing, so that's a good thing. No, you got to do that. If you yeah. don't, if you don't have that conversation, most men are going to bring that up first. I had a comment that said, oh, Trish is doing the nasties. You have no idea. I'm just going to leave it to that. You have no idea. Oh, my God. <laughs> um, okay, so we do have another question. It says, what if a guy is daily contacting, but the romantic part is not there? He's not that interested. Yeah. He can care about you. He probably loves you. He probably loves you because of the history. But what I would be very afraid of is if he's getting it somewhere else, or if he's already doing stuff. I don't, I'm not saying he is or isn't, but it, I don't know many relationships that sustain that, honestly. Yeah, um, another question. How long did you wait to have that conversation? I waited a little bit. I waited, uh, this person and I have been off and on for a really long time, um, but I would say probably like two months and um, he met my parents and all of that and I have a kid and so that's very important to me that like that whoever I bring into my life is also going to be around my son so I thought about this process too and I had a conversation with my son and said how do you feel about because I you know that's a big deal to me my son doesn't meet who people I date mm -hmm. and he Carter w was open to it he said mm -hmm. I'm open to it you know he did have we did have the talk where he said so you and my daddy are really not getting back together and so we did have to have that talk really again, which so uh, he he was still hopeful for that after yeah. all these years okay he it's been three years yeah and i and i have to remind him i'm like kid your dad has somebody and mm. you know you love her and he's like yeah you're right so but you know kids think that their parents are going to get back together yeah, and, not wrong with that. Yeah. and um i just had to reassure him and he's open to spending more time with this or getting to know him and spending more time to, with this person so there you go yeah that's good that's progressing good. yeah good congratulations to you though i didn't know that so good yeah, I'm actually I mean, I'm just perspiring a little bit. Thinking uh, why? About it. <laughs> it's just I, I mean I've been I've been in like everyone knows me as being this single person and like I don't know it's just funny to me. I love the stories. I love telling the stories, but yeah, right. happy for you, Trish. I appreciate that. Um, so what if what so what if you're so the guy you're dating right now he's got he's got a million followers, right? Mm -hmm. Let's just say he has a couple hundred thousand, hundred thousand to a million. It doesn't really matter to me. It's still a big following, right? So yeah, he doesn't want to post you on his Instagram. What does that mean? We actually don't follow each other on any social media. You're 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 talking literally, but I'm asking you. Um, he doesn't. I he, don't. He doesn't want to post you on his Instagram. What does that mean? Does that mean anything? I don't, I don't think that that's something that I would even bring up, honestly. I wouldn't say like, hey, why don't you have pictures of me on your Instagram? Or I, I honestly wouldn't even bring that up because that doesn't matter to me. It um, doesn't. I'm not, I, no, I'm not living my life in a social media aspect where I need to affirm my relationship in a social media place. What I look forward in my relationship is what we share together and how we are gonna grow together. I don't need any validation of you posting a photo of me to let other people know that okay. I am your girlfriend, period. Okay. So you don't need validation. So so let, let's sense. so let's say the guy he doesn't want he like no he, he he's completely against it. You don't need it, but he's completely against it. Don't ever ask me to put because I'm not going to do that. Like you you're you're not yeah not privy to that. You're okay with yeah. that? I don't even think we would ever have that conversation. Okay, you're you're speaking literal. So if it happened, <laughs> if um, it happened, what's your so stance saying, on it? If I was dating somebody and they said, hey, just so you know, I'm not going to, I'm not, I don't post women on, so I don't post you on social media. Is that what you're saying? Right. He's got a hundred thousand to a million. And then I would ask, why would you bring up, why would you think that that's something that you needed to tell me? 
Like why? I just don't. I didn't want it to come up later on and have an argument yeah. about it. You know, this is what I do here, and you know, you're not a part of that. So I just, you know, I'm just telling you that I, I'm not going to post you on my, just so we don't have to cross that bridge later. So I would then say this. I would say, look, if you would have never said anything to me, I would have never had a problem with it. I would have let you go on with your life, whatever. But the fact that you want to separate me from a part that's a big part of your life, mm -hmm. I have an issue with that. And what would be the issue? Uh, the issue would be that you are now trying to separate me out of your life. Like if if this big following, like for, for instance, me in the following that I have on here, if he doesn't feel comfortable enough to be shown on social media, I won't show him. I will ask him, I'll give him the option. Do you want to be on here like or, or not? And if he says no, cool. I completely understand your need for privacy, 100%. But I'm never going to tell somebody, no, I'm not going to post you on social media because I'm scared that I might going to lose following. Like, what the fuck? That's weird. That's weird. That's <laughs> but so weird. So, so you wouldn't be you would be worried about what he's trying to do or the perception he's trying to uphold or anything like that. You would just be you would just be offended that he doesn't want to. Here's the post thing. You. People that are going to do something malicious, that people that are going to cheat talk about to women behind your back talk to men behind their your back they're going to do it mm -hmm. it doesn't matter if they're affirming you being affectionate with you loving you if they are going to go out there and make the choice to do something to like deceitful they're going to do it so why am i going to waste my time worrying about the what ifs mm -hmm. when if it's going to happen it's going to happen anyways and if it happens bye so what if he tells you hey I'm, it's required that I have your phone passcode, your passwords to your emails, and all have that it. stuff. Really? I don't care. Have it. Yeah. I don't care. I have nothing to hide. I'm shocked. Yeah. You want my passcode? I, I literally was just about to give you my login information no, for something. Why are you talking so literal? I'm talking about a guy <laughs> you're dating. A guy you're dating Take says it. to you, hey. Take it. To be Take in a relationship it. with me, I want your passcodes. I want your fucking, I want all that shit. I want all take of them. It. You don't take even it. fight it. No, take Mo it. Most women would fight it. No, if my, if my man is like, hey, like, can I have the passcode to your phone? Not even any pretext. Just, hey, can I look at your phone? There you go. So reverse, is, da, 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 da. reverse. You require your boyfriend to give his passcodes, his 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 phone ID, whatever. Mm -hmm. He says, nah, I require privacy. I don't know, because I won't, I don't know if I would ever do that. Oh my God. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. It doesn't matter what you would or wouldn't do. I'm it sorry. happened. He told you. He told me no. you're, okay. I'm telling you, he said, hey. I'm I, sorry. I, I, you're not taking my password. I'm not giving you my, you already asked him for it. I'm not giving you my yes. password. I'm not giving you none of that stuff. I require privacy in my relationship. You're not privy to this stuff right here. Yes. Okay. I'm listening. Um, I would say, okay, the fact that you're not willing to give it so freely is making me feel a little insecure. Can Do you, you leave just them? reaffirm me? No, so, I don't uh, think I would leave. Yeah, I, yeah, I mean, I'm not doing anything. I just, uh, I, I just think that, you know, we live together. You're up my ass 100% of the time. I just feel like <laughs> I need to have some of this stuff. Like, I, if I want to have my phone to myself, then I think I should have, I, should, I think I should be able to have that. If, if I had asked for something from my spouse that I shared everything with and they told me no, I I would think why. I would think why. Well, what would you do about it? Um, I would like to think that I wouldn't be one of those girls that starts snooping, but I probably would. I'd probably start snooping and seeing if there's something that I needed to be worried you can't, about. You can't, get in my, you can't get in my phone. It's got a passcode on it. Listen, women are the FBI agents. We are the ones that need to be recruited because I will find everything out if so, I need to. So if I need to. A guy, Any woman is like that. A guy says that to you, you have to find proof at, well, at that point. So you're not just going to, you don't have like a hard line with that. He's, he's refusing. Oh, I leave. Would you leave though, or would you? A uh, thousand percent. Uh, and I think the reason why someone like me who's been through what I've been through would leave is because I'm not fucking around with that shit anymore. I, I'm like you said, we can make more money. 
We can make new friends. We can do all of that. But the one thing you cannot make more of is fucking time. You cannot make more time in life. Mm. So I'm not wasting another minute of my life with somebody who does not deserve me. Yeah. And I'm not saying that I'm this, this 10 princess that you need to worship. No, but I know I'm a good woman and I know that I deserve honesty. And if I'm not going to get that in my relationship, I'm not wasting any, any time at all. It's funny that you said deserve. <laughs> I knew it. I knew you were going to pick up on that. I knew you were going to pick up on that. It's funny that you said deserve. So, Jesus. Can I ask you, as a woman dating, mm -hmm. what is it that you think you deserve? I deserve nothing. <laughs> why do I women think, say? I why think, do women think, say? <laughs> I, de I deserve a good man. I deserve this. I deserve that. You know what I say? Trish, and I'm gonna piss off a lot of people. This no, is, I agree with this you. This is what I tell them. Here's, ladies, here's a fucking list of everything that you fucking deserve. Not a fucking thing. What, what did you do today that makes you deserve a good man? What'd you do today? Are you asking me? Anybody. You can um, answer it. Would no, you? I've. I've had this talk with you. So there's two separate things that you're talking about. Okay. In in dating, I've been I've been single for a long time. Okay. And I've shared my stories about me dating with people in this Discord, on stream, all of it. And the constant thing that I would hear is, you deserve so much. You deserve mm -hmm. the best. I hear that I've all heard time. that. I've heard that constantly. And I always fire back with, I don't deserve anything. Mm. Being a good person doesn't entitle me to have anything whatsoever mm. i am a good person because i choose to be a good person and when i look in the mirror i want to be happy with myself and truly love myself in a relationship it's different if i'm treating my man with respect mm -hmm. yeah. i'm loving him i'm fucking him and i'm you can think of what the other ones are i deserve respect yes, absolutely. and common decency absolutely. that's the difference yes and that's a great fucking answer even though you're fucking ready ready for that one but so <laughs> so why why so why do women say that then why do why do women say okay here's do you hear men saying that men don't say hey i deserve a good woman I've li i'm saying that right now and i'm like fuck i've never heard a man say i man i've been i deserve a good woman i I've hear men, men i hear that. no you haven't you've heard men say i want a good woman Okay, okay, you're right. That you are correct. You've heard men say I want a good woman, but all I ever hear women say is I deserve a good man. Why is that different, you think? I'm not laughing at you. We just have something in the chat from Nubs that says, Well, I deserve ten fingers. We don't always get what we <laughs> That's exactly right. Exactly <laughs> right. So why why what's the difference there? There's a big difference there. There is women a big difference. deserve, men just want. I think there is a big difference. And I this this is why I posted that TikTok that I did. Because if you like if you're a single woman and you're going out in the dating or whatever, you are you already have 20 women against you. You know why? Because of this. You have dating apps where it's literally a meat market where people can decide right then and there, yes or no, yes or no, just by looking at you. So you already have the odds against you. So when you are meeting a man and getting to know them they don't we have this mentality of you deserve to be in my presence you deserve to know me because i'm beautiful i'm funny all of that stuff that's not true mm -hmm. that's not true they don't deserve to have anything about you mm -hmm. it is a mutual agreement that you're making with this other person of do we like each other or not are we going to pursue this together or not nobody deserves anything mm -hmm. you don't deserve to be ghosted you don't deserve to be treated like shit but True. just being a good person doesn't entitle you to deserve a good man mm -hmm. at all, period. Why do you think there's so many good women that are with shitty fucking men? Because they choose those partners. They choose those partners. Meat market. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a meat market. They choose those partners. Because of a checklist. And I think all the good ones, like... All the, all the good, I, I say good ones. There's a lot of good ones. I don't mean good <laughs> ones, so I'm going to take that back. The ones that have most of the things on the checklist are always gone. 
And what do I mean by that? I've said that before. Like, so like he's good looking, got a great job, has high character, has high integrity. Those guys are never around long enough to get scooped up. I'll give you a good example. And I'm not, I'm not saying this about myself, but I'm just gonna use myself as an example. I'm a six, fine. But I feel like I have good integrity. Okay. I have good character. I have good value. So that puts me kind of decent on the checklist, probably past halfway. So anyways, I, so I was in my marriage for 10 plus years or whatever that was. There, there was this girl at the same gym. She never talked to me, not fucking once, not once. She never said anything to me. I had no idea that she was ever interested. She knew I was married. She used to tell her friends at work, that one day I'm going to get a date with this guy. I was married. And you were married? She had no idea that I would ever get divorced or anything like that. I'm sure she was rolling the dice because chances are 70% of marriages end in divorce. She waited, waited for years until that day came. And I kid you not. And now, here's the other problem. As soon as, as soon as my marriage ended too, here's the other, here's the other kicker. As soon as my marriage ended, so like, you take a guy like me, as soon as my marriage ended, I was already out there. I was already out there. Like, I, I was everywhere. Like, well, you were immediately. Sep- like going through divorce no, or after your divorce was After final? my divorce, my, my divorce, okay. listen, I caught my wife cheating. My divorce was final two days later. Jesus. Two days later, sign, deliver, decree, everything. Two you didn't want to later. hear anything she had to say. You no. were done. So the laws are you have to have three months, right? Reprievement or whatever the fuck they call it. Yeah. I don't know. You got to do it three months. I literally told her, like, listen, it's what I tell you it is. I saw the lawyer say, it's what I tell you it is. She's not going to fight anything. I've got a prenuptial agreement. It's whatever I say in the contract. I'll just tell everyone that I saw you three months ago. Yeah. And he was like, whatever you say. So two days later, I was signed and I was already... I was probably already on the phone by the weekend. Dead ass. Dead ass. Okay, so it didn't take long for me to get back out there. How long were you there. married for? How long were you married for? 10 plus. 10 plus years, I think. Yeah. 10 and years. you were just wasted no time. You yeah. just got out there. Did yeah, you yeah. get out there with the purpose of looking for someone to like date and marry or were you just... No, just date. Just date. See what's out there. Like, I, I, I'm not okay. trying to be just be like... I, I, no, guys don't do that. We're not, we're not on a mission to get married. Like we're not, on, we're, we're on the mission. Like if, if marriage comes up because we found a fantastic woman, then absolutely we'll, we'll, we'll jump all over that trolley, but we're, we're not dating to get married. We're dating to meet uh, new women, to find out about ourselves, like to just have some fun, whatever the case may be. Right. So anyways, mm-hmm. So even after this, I'm, I'm gone immediately. I'm off the market immediately. Right when I get out of a marriage, I'm already talking to whoever, dating whoever. And then this girl, like after I got done doing that, she finds out that I got a divorce. So she's literally <laughs> plotting this whole thing like behind, the, like behind the curtains and I had no idea. So my point is those guys are like always active, yeah, always gone always occupied like it's it's hard to get in that's why i always say you got to fucking lower your standards and women always say i'm not lowering my standards for no man well yeah. you're always gonna get a shitty one then because you're always after well, the checklist physical things or whatever uh, i'll take it even one step further than that i have a type i have a type you can have a you type have a, no but i'm saying that women have a specific type of men that they like like for me the type of guys that i, I have always said that i like is i like nerdy guys who wear thick glasses because Mm -hmm. like i just i i like i that's just the type of guy that i like Mm -hmm. um but am i only going to look at guys that are that way like you're Mm -hmm. limiting yourself if you're saying that this is the only type of guy that i'm going for right And, and and like you have to expand it like you can have a type but that shouldn't be the only thing that you're looking for when if you're on these dating apps if you're on dating apps i'm just gonna tell you get off Get mm-hmm. off, because like I said, you're competing with 20 other women. No! I, I mean, I think, I think dating apps it are is, good. I think they're so superficial. So I, I'm going to tell you this. Same thing with you. I would never in a million years say that I'm a 10, ever in a million years. I, I would say, I would say I'm, a, I'm a solid five or six. But you know what makes me really good is I'm really fucking funny, and I have a good personality. I think that that's what makes me. So when you're looking <clears throat> at a dating app and you see these photos of me, you're immediately not knowing everything, anything about me. You know what I heard about, from men on here? I take my time when I'm on dating apps. 
I write out a whole bio. I'm snarky. I'm cute. I'm sassy. All of those things because I want someone to see my personality while they're judging to see if they want to get to know me. You know what a man told me once? He said, we don't read that shit. We don't give a fuck about that shit. Oh we're looking at we're looking at you yeah. and we're like, nope. Oh yuck, my god. Nope. Bro. Yuck. And I'm like, I literally wasted so much time writing this cute, sassy little bio, and they just don't even care. Not even giving me a shot to show them what I got. Nothing. Here's why. Here's why. And I agree with them. Okay. Don't think I'm bad for that. <laughs> I agree with them. Yeah, we don't we don't care about reading because I'm not gonna waste my time reading this profile if I don't even know if you're into me. I'm not going to yeah. do that. I'm not going to invest. Un I'm not going to waste time on that. I'm not going to do it. So he didn't mean that in a bad way. You guys focus on the wrong things. Listen, <laughs> everything's fast, man. This is the future. We want thing internet, email. Like, we want information quick. We we're going to save that for the date, okay? I, I want to yeah. get to know you on the date. I want the conversation to flow. I'm not trying to read a biography. Like, I'm so, what am I going to do, Trish? Biography. I, well, I'm going to read a bio. I'm going to read a bio. I'm going to read eight bios. All you guys swipe left on me. What's the point of that? Well, I'm gonna read all that shit. I'm not. I'm not a fucking book scholar. I want. I want to. So we're going on very superficial thing. Oh, this is a. She's attractive. I have a swipe right or whatever. I can't even remember the direction now. But you know what the dating app does? What? It lets you know immediately. So you take a guy that's kind of self conscious, not very comfortable talking to women. So this girl swipes on me. I immediately know she's interested. Mm hmm most of it's taken care of now i can be myself because i don't have to worry about earning or trying to fight for uh you to like me or to find me appealing or to find me attractive there's no gray area now i feel like okay she's kind of into me now i just get i just ain't gotta fuck this up i i love the dating apps i think it's great for people that um i don't know that very unsure of themselves struggle with like direct communication I, th I think the dating apps are really good he, they can get a lot of information across an array of girls and yes and, and just like get a head start in the game i think i think it's good so you don't think that let's just say you match you match with a woman okay you match with her she's beautiful she is funny like and you, you want to get to know her and you really like her but then all of a sudden you have a match with another girl Mm -hmm. she she's pretty she's really pretty mm -hmm. oh she's funny she's really funny yep i'm gonna see what she's doing mm -hmm. and now you're completely neglecting this other girl that you match with went on a date with and know you like but this one's new mm -hmm. this one's new and i want to see what's going to happen with there you don't think that's wrong in the dating mentality no because aren't i privy to that though like isn't that what it is until you until you have had a conversation with me about exclusivity i'm dating she's on that you app don't too. think that cheapens it you don't think that that cheapens like no i really want to get to know this connection person. is connection so he obviously didn't really want to get to know her so for me i get to know right now it's like oh, okay what i thought i liked i actually don't like let me see what this is about we're yeah. not we're not putting all our eggs into that basket remember what i said it's a fucking rat race everybody's in a rat race it when is. you're in a dating scene so this guy's got he's talking to three girls and then she does this she takes the lead this other one oh she's coming up from the rear she's taking the lead and then whoever wins last is going to be the last one standing so that's that's where the exclusivity comes in like dating is dating dating is meeting yes. multiple people and getting to know people finding out who you are what you're into and finding out how you mesh and get along with different people that's it, man. Like, don't do not get on the dating apps if you're looking for exclusivity on the first person that swipes on you. That's not I what that's built you. for. I do agree with you on that. I do think, though, like somebody had said, that they feel like uh, dating apps take the dating part out of it, and I do agree. I I, I agree with that. I listen, listen, uh, motherfucker. Listen, I I <laughs> I grew up with a very old school mentality that if you like a person that that's the person you want to get to know. That's how I, exactly. so I, I view dating apps as a, I'm go, finding someone that's interesting and I'm going to get to know you. So I don't communicate like I'm only getting to know you, but I'm, that's how I'm operating. Like I'm going to pursue this one because I want to see where it goes. Okay. I'm not, I'm not worried about the mismatches. I'm not worried about, did I miss a really good connection with somebody else? because I've already invested my time into you and I wanna to get to know you and I wanna see if it progresses into something else.
That is my mentality when I'm dating. And, and that's fine. That's fine if you think that's wrong. But to me, I can look myself in the mirror and I can go, I'm doing the right thing. Because in my morals, that's the right thing but to do. But this is why you guys get heartbroken all the time. You, true. You, oh, you, true. You put too much investment and commitment into the first thing that walks across you or like smiles at you. Like you can't do that. Like you, you got to diversify. No one invests all their money into one stock. I've never heard that in my life. It's the same thing in, in dating. Like, why would you do that? You don't know. Like, you could only be 50% compatible with this kid, but you're pushing through because one, you're trying to change him. Two, you're trying to change yeah. yourself. Like, fuck all that, man. Like, maybe you're 80% compatible with this person, but you don't even know because you, you're, you're, I, I'm laser focused on this one over here. Well, you're setting yourself up for heartbreak. You're about to get so fucking mud stomped because that's not what the guy is doing. And the, the women should be following suit. Like, you guys should not be dating like that. That's the wrong mentality to take on dating. I think a lot of women date like that. I they know do. that's how I date. Because, like, b before, when I had pre previously, I will get to that question. We had a TikTok, TikTok question that said, but if women does that and a guy <clears throat> finds out, they won't like that, right? No. We don't, we don't care. We don't care. If, 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 if he had the exclusive talk with you, if he at some point... During the time that you guys dated, hey, hey, girl, I'm not, I'm not talking to anybody. Hey you're it for me. I'm, there's no one else. Now, if you're dating after that, because at that point, he's telling you, hey, you could tell me this is going to be a no-go. But if you let it go past go, and you're telling me, hey, it's okay, then I'm, I'm assuming you're in that same contract with me. So now it's a problem if I find out you're dating other people. Absolutely. So, uh I, I met my um, ex-husband on Match.com. I don't know if I ever told you that. We met on Match.com because Tinder and Bumble and none of that right. was out. There was no dating apps. The iPhone had just come out mm -hmm. and it was you had to log into a website and, and send a message that way. So I met my ex-husband on Match.com. I had been on Match.com for like two months and then a month was free. So three months total. And um, I had gone on a lot of dates, met a lot of people mm -hmm. and and some of them like, like they didn't work out. Yeah. And I canceled my membership i was done and i had two days left on my membership and then my ex-husband okay. sent me a message um and i will never forget when he had sent me a message um oh shit, sorry i thought my thing crashed did i crash no okay um so i said hey here's my phone number because my membership is about to be over i sent him my my phone number on like a thursday thursday mm. or friday and then we were talking went on a date the following thursday uh-huh on our first date, our very first date, I love this story. We went out, we went to go out to dinner, restaurant was closed, we went to a bar, played pool, and then we went back to his place and played Call of Duty. Mm -hmm. That's what we did. And then we ended up making out, and then he walked me to his car, and oh, then I- Oh, wait a minute. You kissed him I on crash? the first, you kissed him on the first date? Mm-hmm. Because you were interested. Yes, I was okay. interested. Okay. Okay. So I kissed him on the first date. I don't give a shit about that. So I kissed him on the first date. <laughs> I'm just listen, saying. You, I, listen. I proved my point on the I'm other other story. the other thing that you all said. Right, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> so so I I kissed him on the first date. He walks me out to my car because if I stayed any longer, other things were gonna happen. Mm. And I liked him a lot, and I didn't want it to be that. So we go back to we go to my car. He's walking me out, and I give him a kiss, and he looks at me in my face, and he said, "Fuck the three day rule. I'm calling you tomorrow." He really likes and, you. Yeah, oh yeah, he made it very known there's that no, he liked me. There's no rules. Like, men made that stuff up. It's bullshit. You know what he's doing in those three days, Trish? I I had a no. Kissing on the first date is a hell no. Why? I mean, it's just... Why? It's just prefer Like, because women women think it's a game. Just like what you said about the no-call rule for three days. Women he said don't... That. Yeah, I know. Women don't kiss on the first date because you got to let the man earn it. Like, we don't give... That shit don't fucking matter, man. Stop doing that shit, ladies. That's bullshit. It's a myth. That's story time. That shit is not true. Doesn't matter if I kiss you or smash you on the first date. You're either the one or you're not the one. That shit doesn't matter. That three days, I'm not going to call you for three days rule that these guys make up. That's bullshit. They don't want you to call them in three days. They want you to be afraid to call me in three days because you, that's going to push you away because you know what he's doing? He's calling his other ones. He's talking to his other ones. He's probably on the date with the other one the next yeah. day and the second day. Then he can cycle back to you. Like, that's what that shit is. Stop listening to that stuff. There's no such thing as that. As that. I think my stream just uh, canceled out. You just start, restart it.
but that's the okay. thing you don't you don't listen to that stuff like that stuff is bullshit like that guys scumbags made that shit up women made that stuff up about the no kissing thing like that stuff doesn't matter we'll smash you on the first night or kiss you on the first night if we really like you uh you could still lose a relationship either way if we don't like you like it doesn't matter that stuff does not matter my ex-husband was supposed to be uh just a couple's oh. night stand just a fun time but you ended up marrying him right see it doesn't matter one night stands could turn into forever <laughs> they can you you reboot in your stream i'm just gonna do yeah. this it was an easy yeah. way to avoid further dates it was david that's just the truth right that's what we're, that's what we're here for i'm here to give you guys the actual truth about these myths that you guys run your life by and that shit does not matter lagging hella says uh my man no just restart your app my my, my stream is okay on here my bit yeah, rate's yeah. high. We should be we should be good. Men are always right, Lop. You already know. Erica, thank you so much for the follow. But yeah. Men are always right. Here we did go. You, did you get booted back up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm okay. Good. Okay. Okay. So I have I'm putting uh TikTok. So how do you meet people naturally? I work night shifts and I go home. I have no social. Get life. on the dating app. Don't listen to Trish. Get on the day. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm being serious. Sometimes, listen, sometimes you don't have time to do it. So get on a dating app. Get to know multiple guys through the dating app. And then the one that you like the most, you set up a date for the next time that you have a day off. It's really fucking simple. You go on the date. If you don't like them, you, you move on. You don't waste your time. Like, that's it. Like, don't let this thing be over. Don't do not overcomplicate this shit. This shit's not hard. Like, use the dating app. Talk to several guys. I'm not saying sleep with several guys. I'm saying talk to several guys. What, Trish? <laughs> so I just wanted to say that, like, how, how House and I met, we met in a gaming Discord. We both game we're streamers um i wasn't a streamer initially but i played video games i still play video games i love them and i have met some amazing amazing men mm -hmm. in these discords um and, and grown like these really good relationships so if you're into gaming i would say join discords meet people it's a good interaction and you share like a shared entrance why are you looking at me like she's that? met a lot of awesome guys with great integrity and character but not good enough for her to date so i'm just gonna throw that out there a bunch of them would love to roll out the red carpet for her. so brandy says which one is the best one so brandy just like uh, trish said uh tinder is going to be your most unprofessional one that's going to be for a lot of hookups but it doesn't mean you can't find anybody on tinder okay you, there's a lot of people there so go go do it plenty of fish is not is like not hip not cool uh christian mingle is what if you're like very religious very super serious and you're looking for like i'm not going to say boring but i am going to say boring but that, that one's kind of like for 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 that type of thing like if you got like very strong faith religious so that's a good that's a good avenue you're going to be very serious there plenty of fish is very serious oh, I rolled my eyes. tinder Oops. tinder is not serious but bumble is a comes Bumble's in a close second that's a close to uh hinge is the number one hinge is really good because you can post videos of yourself and you yeah. can see videos of the people so there's not a, a bunch of these like fake looking pictures from like like you can see a video i it, Hinge is pretty. I, I love, I love pretty Bumble. Legit. Here, I'm gonna give you. <laughs> Hinge I'm gonna and give Bumble. You, so Bumble, uh, we have OK Cupid. Also, I know there's Coffee Meets Bagel. There's a bunch of them. But here, ladies, ladies are in the chat. I'm going to give you the best two pickup lines to get somebody to have a conversation with you in Bumble. Are oh, you God, ready? I can't wait to hear this shit. Huh? Let's, I want to hear it. Hear are it. you ready? Yeah. Are you guys ready? I, I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm just waiting for the yes. I'm tickling for this. Yeah. I'm. I'm just waiting for the yes. Okay. Super excited. Uh, I end up getting the worst guys on Hinge. Yeah, I did too. So, okay, here it is. Bumble. Women have to initiate the contact, the first communication in Bumble. Mm, that's Women what's have about to it. do that. Mm -hmm. So when I would message a guy, I want I you can go, hey, how's it going? Like you could totally do that. Whatever. This is what I did. I said, hey, it's pretty cold outside. Do you have a sweatshirt I could borrow? Mm, that was one. That's a good one. Thank you. That's a and good one. And then the second one that I would say is if you had a song that best describes you what is the song see I no hold on i'd close Listen. that message out no, are you kidding me, you, <laughs> do, you want God, me to send, do you want me to send you the playlist you want me to send you i have a fire playlist out it doesn't of all matter that. i wouldn't fire. even play that game <laughs> i wouldn't even fire. play that game so here's the, <laughs> oh my god so i like the first one but the second one i wouldn't even engage in that one 
<laughs> I just got a bunch of galaxies. Thank you so much for the galaxies. I appreciate you, Richard. <laughs> Um, yeah, no, I, and it worked like a charm. It worked like a charm. I, I really, really did enjoy Bumble when I was on Bumble. But then I would get off the dating apps and then I would go back on them and it was like a family reunion. It was the same people all over again. Well, it's like, in your it, area, yeah. But I'm like, Jesus, is nobody meeting anybody? Raise like, the Jesus. age on your fucking meter. Raise the age up. I have my age. I have my age group when I was on it from 28 to 45. That was my age group. Put it to 55. <laughs> I'm just telling you. I mean, that's a, that's a little steep for me. <laughs> that's a little steep. For I mean, me. I'm just saying, you want to fucking. My mom, my mom is 55. But <laughs> like, she is right, guys. She is right. So Bumble, Bumble is really good because ladies, you guys control the interaction. So like, no creeps, <laughs> no creeps can message you like at all. No one can message you if you're a female unless you reach out to them first. So that 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 makes Bumble the best, actually. I I had someone said, get that grandpa. <laughs> yeah, get him. My, mo my mom retired is 55. Retired too, retired, so. financially stable. <laughs> <laughs> Gonna get social security in, in seven years. It's good shit. Are you okay? Are I'm you just okay? saying, I, 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 I already knocked off like four check checkpoints on your list. <laughs> I'm just my by, ass off for retirement. Just by head, just, just being 55, I done knocked off like four of your bullet points on your checklist. That is just wild. So you say you, I don't know. I just I, I, like if if me and this this person don't work out, you would you just won't catch me on dating apps again. But I'm also someone who is I mean, very very like if I like somebody, like even like if I see somebody attractive in real life, I just talk to them. So like I'm not nervous bullshit. to do that. Bullshit. Are you fucking me? No, bullshit. I do that. No, bullshit. 100%. Okay, so my so my next is you're on you're not on dating apps. So uh so Okay, you just got guys walking up to you all the time. No, I'm saying me. If no, I'm I asking see somebody, you. I'm just asking you. Uh, no, not really. Okay, so you so you're walking up to a bunch of guys just all the time. You're approaching guys all the time. Hold on, that's not what I said. No, I didn't if say I, you. I'm asking you. How no, how are no, you no, meeting no. guys then? How, I'm asking. How are you meeting guys if you're not on dating apps then? If they're not coming up to you and you're not coming up to them, how are you meeting them? I well, one, I didn't date for a very long time. Well, there and you go. There you go. But that, that was a choice. I didn't put myself okay. out there. Okay. So, but you're saying dating apps are no good, but if you're not, if you're, if you're not, if people aren't approaching you and you're not approaching anybody and you're done going out to the clubs, I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about, I was just using yeah, you as yeah, an example. Yeah. I was just asking, I was just giving the question to these people in the chat. So how the fuck do you expect to meet anybody? You got to use um, the dating apps, especially the, the young lady that's really busy at work. She don't have time to go out. She don't have time to approach anybody. She's not yeah. anywhere to be approached. Yeah. Got to use the dating apps. It, it is an it is a feasible option that must be utilized, period. I would say if they go into using the dating apps using your advice, the advice that you said, that just because you match with somebody doesn't mean that he's you're the only person he's yes. talking to. Yes, you yes. go into it knowing mm -hmm. that knowing that that's that's the real thing and you don't go in with these games of i'm not gonna kiss yeah, him or i'm not gonna shit. sleep with him like no if you truly like somebody kiss him yeah if you really want to smash smash yeah. like it doesn't matter you know like like it, this whole like oh i don't want to look too easy girl I'm in my doesn't 30s. fucking matter man. i don't care like, i don't care i'm glad you're bringing that up like here's the thing like when you guys go on a date men and women just feel the vibe and do whatever the fuck you want to do like there are no fucking rules man be yourself and obviously if you're if you're socially awkward right you got to work on those things right the things that you're deficient at if yeah. you're deficient at like holding a conversation or being interesting work on those things but don't withhold information or don't do these things that you want to do if you're feeling it right so feel the vibe yeah. feel the atmosphere obviously be very aware of like the situation right if they're giving off a bad vibe don't don't like push forward your vibe if they're not feeling yeah. it you need to recognize what's going on but if it's mutual go fucking crazy like you only live once here's the problem if you don't sleep with him or you do sleep with him or if you do kiss him or you don't kiss him he's if he's not into you, he's not into you it doesn't fucking matter like if you this sleep, is not go good, ahead good no go ahead this is not high school where you have to worry if Jimmy's gonna go tell Tommy on the schoolyard. Yeah. Everybody's gonna know that you slept with so and so. We're yeah. adults. Yeah. Do what you want to do. Yeah, and if you and if you're a faith-driven person, 
then you know what to do. You don't need me to tell you what to do. You know what to do based on your faith. Whole different mm-hmm. conversation, but we're speaking outside of that, okay? But my point is, don't put restrictions on yourself because what are you doing to yourself? So I'm gonna. I, so let's say I, I let's say you let's say you slept with him and then he didn't call you back the next day. Good, good. How much time would you have wasted on this yeah. motherfucker, right? Just to sleep with him three months later and then he would have left you anyways. And then exactly. what? You just wasted three months. How much money by this point? Like, fuck that, man. Like, I'm not saying go sleep with everybody. That's not what I'm saying. But I'm saying whatever happens, happens. Don't fucking think so hard about this shit, man. Just go on dates. Get to know people. That needs to be your objective. Whatever happens after that happens, don't let your objective be, hey, I'm not going to kiss. I'm not going to do this. Or I'm going to go smash the first thing I see. Like, (laughs) that should be your objective. Go on dates. Have a good time. Get to know the person genuinely. Who the fuck cares after that? Who cares? That's it. Honestly. That is it. It, it. it honestly doesn't matter. It it does not matter. And at the end of it, if he leaves you, baby, at least you got yours. That's all that matters. Hopefully. Right. And, and again, like if it breaks your heart, I'm sorry. I'm sorry that that happened to you. But you, it would have it would have fucking crippled you three months down the road. So we have thank a God. Question in chat: Should women wait for men to text them first, or See, do we look clingy if we that. do? I just answered that. Yeah. Don't. Don't. Do not wait. I, I, I'll answer this as a woman. Okay. I, I, I am someone who texts constantly. Like, like if I'm into you, I am constantly texting you. I'm not saying like overbearing, but like if I see something funny, I'm texting you like, oh my God, I just saw this. Like, I don't care. I just, I talk to you like you're my friend because if I'm dating you, I see you as my friend mm-hmm. and I want to build a friendship with you. So in no way am I worried like, um, he might be busy right now. I don't want to send him a text. I'm not going to be overbearing, but if I'm going to talk to the person I'm, I'm dating or that I want to pursue something with, I don't give a shit if they're mm-hmm. mad about it. And if they're, and if they decide not to pursue something with me because my communication is too much for them, they're not the one. They're not, They're the, not one. the one. That's it. That's the that's the ultimate answer. It doesn't because just just because you just because you restrict yourself and I'm choosing not to be annoying right now, you're gonna be annoying later to him. You get what I'm saying? Like if, yeah. if if that annoys him because you love to text the person that you like and you're not able to do that, and then when you finally get comfortable enough to start doing that, it's gonna annoy him later. And the same the same results can happen. Do what you want to do. You want to fucking text him. You feel giddy. You like him a lot. Text him. If he likes you the same, he's gonna welcome every one of your texts. And if he yep. doesn't welcome your text, he don't like you enough. So save yep. yourself the trouble. Get the fuck out of there, anyways. It doesn't matter. Agreed. Agreed. It, 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 you know, one of the basic things in a relationship that you should have that is the number one deal breaker in like that gets divorced is communication yes, that's issues. number one that's number so one so if somebody initially is not communicating with you a way that you need to be communicated mm. with because it's your love language or whatever why are you going to settle for that initially mm-hmm. you're you need to know right out the gate if, if the energy i'm putting out is what i'm getting in so that i could be happy and are they happy don't try to change it like don't try to mold it into something differently in the beginning it is what it is and nobody you cannot change anybody without them choosing to change so stop wasting your time mm-hmm. we're literally we're literally running out of time every day we're running out of time stop wasting your time you're getting older and uglier men and women <laughs> boy what did i say to you as we were doing this i was like how should i adjust this ring light so you don't see like my my wrinkles you know what somebody said something about my cheeks i'm sorry these are my cheekbones what do you want me to do about well, it what did like, they say about them they said something stupid they were like look at her look at her face like she you know she's super chubby in her face i'm like bruh these are literally my cheekbones like what do you want me to do about it mm-hmm. i mean who cares <laughs> who cares what they're saying i know i know who cares? i know but I get um, it. N- another message nikki said what if it's long distance do you think that it's worth it to even try to make it work the question is, do you like them? If the answer is yes, then yes, it's worth it. <laughs> it doesn't fucking matter. Here's the good thing about long distance. If you can make a relationship work with indirect verbal communication, think about how you're going to be when you finally get together. Yeah. It's going to be really good. Now, 
uh, that's assuming you guys are doing a really good job as you are right now but is it worth it do you like them a lot if the answer is yes then yes it's worth it it doesn't matter what the restrictions are if you like somebody enough you're gonna make it work so it's the same thing on his end right whoever's asking that if uh if he likes you a lot he's gonna make the long distance work if he likes you a lot he's gonna make it happen to where you guys finally get together if he likes you a lot he's gonna travel across the united fucking states to come see you when it's yes. important if he's not doing those things then it's only important to one person you need to get the fuck out of there and for the love of god stop waiting for them to do something stop waiting for them yep. to prove to you why it's uh, it's okay to to like them or to potentially fall in love with them if you're waiting for somebody to prove to you anything you've already lost mm -hmm. because it's not 50 50 it's 100 100 you're gonna put in a hundred percent effort and they're gonna put in a hundred percent effort mm -hmm. and that way when you look at it in a perspective if it's not if you're not getting what you're putting in leave mm -hmm. Just stop wasting your time save yourself getting older and uglier with every day that passes i love these conversations <laughs> that's the true like statement everybody else loves these You're, too. you got listen that's a true statement i don't mean to be harsh wherever you at right now in your life that's the prettiest you'll ever be just just telling you guys wherever you're at so why what you wasting time for this is the prettiest you'll ever be you're not going to get no prettier you're not going to get no younger stop wasting your time Stop wasting your time on assholes. Stop wasting your time on women that don't give a fuck. Go do, go do your thing, man. Make your life um, better. We'll, we'll end it with this question. So the question that I got is, I have a question. Can someone after them cheating? I don't think so. So I'm assuming that the question was, can you forgive somebody after cheating? No. No, Why? I say, I take that back. This is what I meant to say. You can forgive them, but you can't forget it. No. And listen, once a cheater, always a cheater. I'm just always going to agree with that. I'm not saying that they're going to make that mistake again. But if they, if they have something about their makeup or their personality or something in their traits that allowed them to justify cheating was okay, there's something else. And it might not be cheating. It might be something less severe or even worse than that that they're going to justify in their head that it was okay for them to do. You can't trust them moving forward. And I don't even mean just in relationships, in everything. I used to have this person tell me, Trish, this is somebody that I was with. I was like, I was like, how am I supposed to trust you with this? They would say, this is a big thing. Of course, I would never do this, whether it's cheating or like lead a guy on or some bullshit like that. This is serious. I would never do this. But these other things these small things like these are no big deal like I, I of course you could trust me with this and i would always say this if i can't trust you with the small shit there ain't yes. no fucking way i could trust you with the big shit are you kidding me you got that completely fucking backwards that relationship obviously didn't work but anyways don't don't I, fucking don't i think the same thing about liars yeah so if somebody lies Absolutely. to you about the small things they're gonna lie to you about the big yeah. things integrity is everything pay attention to it yeah if somebody's if you catch somebody in a lie whether it's the tiniest little little lie mm -hmm. tiniest little lie that person in integrity comes into question yep. period yeah you know what's consistent truth yes so that's the that's the one you can trust the one that's being honest if you if you're if you're caught in a person that lies that's a whole segment we could talk about fucking lying I know. and I how to should. how to catch a liar right what do mm -hmm. you do what do you do if this stuff's happening right? it's fucking it's simple it's a simple answer we fucking sabotage ourselves in relationships because we want so badly to believe what our spouse is telling us rather than trusting our gut and i haven't been in any situation myself or my friends that their gut wasn't right a hundred percent of the time agreed i i i tell i tell like i've told you this my intuition is crazy mm -hmm. it is crazy i can i can see people for who they are before even going anything further the issue is I am very naive when it comes to giving people too mm -hmm. many chances Can't do because it. I want yep. to give people the benefit of the doubt mm -hmm. and I hope that they're either sorry or they'll change. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you this. Stop trying to change them. Stop trying to change them. <laughs> That's it, man. That's yeah. fucking it, bro. Save yeah. yourself and get the fuck out. Get out. That's get it. Out. And I'm once somebody shows their ass let them shake it. it bye yeah let them shake it that's a good way to put that but that's yeah. that's the thing like some of you guys right now you fucking in a relationship right now where you've been dealing with this things like you don't know whether you should believe them or not like you th you think you're onto something but they keep calling you crazy 
Yeah. They're saying, you're crazy. Why, why, why do you think I'm doing this? Why do you think I'm doing that? Because they are. You're yeah. not crazy. You're fucking smart. The, the only thing that's consistent in any relationship, i.e. marriage, is truth. Everything else that is not consistent, that sounds a little fishy, this doesn't make sense because it doesn't make sense. If you can't make sense of it, it's a lie. Yeah. And, you, and you need to dig more. You need to go find the truth. He's lying to you, period. So let me, let me just preface this. Women are naturally overthinkers. We overthink everything. There's a difference from overthinking something and trusting that intuition that goes, this doesn't seem right. So just make sure that you know the 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 difference. There is a difference from overthinking emotionally and trusting your gut instinct. You're right, but here's an easier answer for that. There isn't there is no such thing as overthinking it, right? If you have to overthink it because it doesn't sound right, because it isn't right. That's it. There is no yeah. gray area. It's bullshit. You don't have if you're having to overthink it, it's a lie. Because the only truth is simple. You don't have to overthink truth truth makes sense there is yeah. no there is no situation where truth don't make sense truth is simple and truth is consistent if you're questioning your partner whether they're a woman or a man and it is not simple and consistent they are lying yeah I lying agree. that's I agree. it you don't need to question nothing else they're fucking Gaslighting. lying they're Gaslighting. gaslighting and lying this is what people do when they lie it's all about fishing so like this is what men do if i throw out my bait and you take that first lie trish i'm gonna yeah what do fishermen do trish oh i caught me one right here i'm gonna go back to this spot i'm gonna fish again yeah if you take that first bait women you're gonna get another lie and the lies get more extravagant they get more detailed and then pretty mm -hmm. soon you're fucking just in a tornado of them if it don't make sense you better call them out and you better yep. fucking stand your ground because the more you stand your ground the more he will be he'll be less inclined to push through that trust me but they're going to get very loud they're going to get very extravagant they're going to try to push you back down so you do not challenge that he's you're fucking crazy. lying you're he's lying crazy. yes yeah yeah, you're crazy. Why, why, why are you yelling? Get why out of my is, phone! Why are you so like, out of control. Yeah, you're no fucking way. crazy. I'm not doing that stuff. Like, what do you? You want to look at my phone? You want to look at this? Do it. Fine. What? Like, he's fucking. Yeah, he's fucking. Yeah. He's gaslighting. Yeah, he's yeah, yeah. Absolutely gaslighting. This is fun. So I have questions. When is your next live? So we do this on Wednesdays and Fridays. Is when we do it. So mm -hmm. Friday we're we're doing uh, six. Are we changing it to nine? Or are we doing we're doing it at six? Right? Six p.m. Eastern. 6 p.m. Eastern for Friday? Friday, yeah, yeah. For Friday, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. 6 p.m. Eastern on Friday. Yeah, so we'll be here live on TikTok. We're also live in Twitch. So if you don't follow us on Twitch, um, the link is in my bio and also House of G. He is tagged in the chat too, so make sure you go give him a follow. Great content. We appreciate you guys all being here. We got some some juicy stuff we're going to be posting for sure. We're going to have to do liars, how to catch them. I think liars is the oh I have so many for that. Yes, it's gonna be so such many a good for one. that. It'll be so yeah, it's yeah, easy. Yeah. Well, thank you, sir, Chat, for being love here. Love y'all. Yep, Trish. Appreciate great you. Great job. See you guys later. Peace. <laughs>